Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tosh. I just got access to Code Interpreter from OpenAI, and I wanted to show you a demo of the most practical things they can do. There's a lot of hype about some things that it's not really great at, but it's well worth the price. It's $20 per month with access to GPT-4 and plugins as well. I think it's very well worth it. And uh, let me show you like the most practical applications. In my opinion, it's analyzing data from a CSV file, but it can also edit and interpret images and PDFs as well. You can upload all types of files actually, like audio and video, but it really does not work well yet with audio and video files, which I've tested a bit. So first let's upload a CSV file that I got from an actual database that I have. It's got about a thousand rows, more than 1300 rows. And basically this is an application where users can log in and demo around by using ChatGPT to create one-liners for emails. And the one-liners can be based on either like a LinkedIn profile or a company's URL. And so we have all this data here. I've exported it as a CSV. So let's upload that CSV. So let me just upload this demo leads here. Put this in here. And first let's ask it, something really simple how many rows in the file are there it should be 13,069 so let's see what it gets and it shows its work too which is all python code it can't use any javascript just python so use pandas here and got the correct result 1369 rows okay cool let's ask it to calculate how many distinct users used the company URL versus the LinkedIn URL feature? And let's see if we can interpret that. Again, we haven't really told it what necessarily the columns uh, in the CSV represent, but it can figure it out by itself. So we can again look at its work and it's gonna do some more work. So first, it's looking at what the columns are. So 65 distinct users use the company URL feature and 274 distinct users who use the LinkedIn URL feature. So again, it interpreted all of this just from the columns in the CSV. So let's ask it now how many demos have been done per day. So let's ask, can you make a graph? A Let's do a bar chart graph of how many demo leads have been done per day and see if we can figure this out it's going to show the work again okay so it's going to create the bar chart and it's using matplotlib so i think it's going to need to probably think of okay well well here's the bar chart showing the number of demo leads per day note that due to the number of unique dates the x-axis label oh yeah it's that's right the x-axis is super hard to read okay wow so some people are clearly using it more on certain days okay cool so yeah, that's how, that's how we can visualize some of the data. Let's think of something else we can actually ask it in here. So in here, users can also give feedback and vote. So we can ask it, let's, let's ask it what percentage of distinct users have left negative feedback. So let's see. Okay, so it's thinking through all the steps and it's thinking out loud too, which is kind of cool. So let's go here. Approximately 3% of distinct users have left negative feedback. Okay, that's awesome. So clearly you can see like this is incredibly useful because like you don't need to come up with SQL queries and run them. You can just like put the spreadsheet in here and just ask your questions in natural language. So I think this is the primary value it provides. And like you could do a bunch of different things besides just like data from a database, like Google Analytics data, all types of things. So yeah, let me know if you've been able to do something cooler with it. And yeah, thanks. Bye.